sis, what Christ look like, sis? What does Christ look like? Yeah, is what is, huh? He's invisible to me, but I know he's he up there. He's invisible to you. Yeah, because he ain't in my eyesight, but I know he's there. But I'm going to show you one thing, sis. First John 4 and 20. Like, let me ask you this. First John chapter 4 and verse 20. So we're going to show you that Christ is not invisible. All right, then we're going to go to Revelation. All right, so the Most High God gives us an understanding, right? That understanding, we don't need to leave. You understand? So we're going to build your understanding of what Christ looked like, okay? You said you heard us prophesying, you heard us on the speakerphone, but we're going to see if you've actually been listening. Three. This is the book of First John, chapter 4, verse 20. Watch this, sis. If any man say... I love God. If you say you love God, if you say, hey, I, I, I appreciate everything God has given me, read. And hated his brother. But you hate your brother, read. He is a liar. You a liar. So what is that telling you? That means that's telling you that the same way that I will love God is how I will love my brother. Right. The same way that I, if I hate my brother, that means I hate God. Bring it up. So it's telling you that Christ is in every brother and sister that you see. That's right. So he is not invisible, sis. You understand that? Bring it up. Per, uh, Revelation 1. That means he is not invisible. That means that you see Christ every day. You looking at Christ right now. You looking at Christ riding on that scooter. You looking at Christ when you look in that mirror in the morning. So if you hate yourself, guess what? You hate who? You hate God. If you hate your brother, that means you hate who? I'm glad you're getting that understanding, sis. Read this. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 10. Bring it up. Verse 14. It's talking about Christ, sis. Read. His head and his hands were white like wool. Were what? White like wool. Hey, I like where you was going. You was about to see the uh, scene, right? All right, read this. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega, uh -huh. the first and the last. Who does that sound like, sis? Christ, right? Right. Read. And what thou seest. What thou what? Seest. What thou what? Seest. So, if you see some, is it indeed invisible? No, it is not. You understand? Read. Right in a book. Verse 14. Verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Can you see the hairs on your head? Yeah, I'm looking in the mirror. All right, that's right. <laughs> Can you feel the hair on your head? Yes. All right, read. As white as snow. The hair on Christ's head was just like the hair on your head when you don't straighten. Right. You understand? Beautiful woolly hair, sis. You better believe it. You understand? Come over here. So let me show you something. I'm finna show you something, sis. You said Christ is invisible. We show you two or three scriptures that show you that he is not invisible. You understand? Who is this? That's a brand change. No, no. So this is Jesus. This is what you're saying. So you saying that the Christ, the Jesus that you thought about before we showed you something, that he had straight hair. He ain't had no perm. He just combed it, right? He just it just laid down, huh? Sis, that's the wrong understanding of who your God is. Right. Sis. This is the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. That's the who? That's the devil the Bible speaks of. Whoever on there right now, no, this is the devil the Bible speaks of. Right. You understand, sis? You can't go in your church and find this image, but you're going to go and find this. What does the church teach? They come on Sunday, the first day of the week, when the Sabbath is the seventh day of the week. You understand? That's a lot. You're going to go in the church and it's going to, with this image right there, it's going to tell you, hey, it's good to celebrate Christmas. But Christmas has nothing to do with Jesus the Christ. That's right. You understand, yeah. sis? I know you've been taught a certain thing, but we're here to tear down those imaginations. Bring it up. We're here to show you the true understanding of God. The understanding of God says you cannot hate your brother in your heart. Right. The true understanding of God says that the black man that is that's supposed to be ruling over you, you have uh, shown disrespect to him. If you show disrespect to him, we just read in 1 John 4 and 20, if you hate your brother, then what? You hate God. So if you disrespect the husband that's in your house, 
the man that's in your house, guess who you disrespect? The most high God. And if you don't get that understanding, if you don't feed to that understanding, if you don't nurture that, then you're going to always think the white man God. Right. Then you're going to always think the devil is supposed to be ruling over you. No, sis. The devil will not rule over our people anymore. Right. And if you allow him to, then you're going to die with the two-thirds that's going to die when them nukes come. That's right. You understand? We keep reading. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Were white and woolly, sis. What they look like? That's wool right there. But did it say it was uh, blood and straight? Did it say it was brown and laid down downtown? No. That's not what the Bible says, sis. So that's one time that this man got it wrong. Read. As white as snow. As white as snow. And his eyes. Oh, you don't even see no white hair over there. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now every time you sip a little bit, sis, what color your eyes turn? Red. Red. Bring it out. What, uh, what color his eyes is? White. Look at that. Brown, blue, and white. What color his eyes? Open up his eye drops. Look, you, he don't need no eye drops, sis. His, his eyes are bloodshot red. Why? Because he drunk wine. We're going to show you that in the scriptures right quick. We're going to show you that our, our, our God, Christ, drunk wine. It ain't wrong to drink. It's wrong to get drunk, to be a drunker, to rise up early and sip some. That's not what you're supposed to be doing as soon as you wake up, sis. You don't supposed to go and get no bush ice. No, get no, uh, no, no 40 when you wake up in the morning. You're not even supposed to be buying on the Sabbath day. So that's sin on top of sin. Watch this. This is why Christ's eyes was red. The book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. Red with what? With wine. So it's not wrong to drink. Christ drunk wine. What was his first miracle, sis? What was Christ's first miracle? Bring it out. He was at a wedding and he turned water to what? Wine. Okay. That's I'm right. gonna say, I, I, look, I, every every Christian know that one. Right. I thought every Christian knew that one. You know what I'm saying? His first miracle at a wedding was turning water to wine. And guess what? It wasn't no little sippy cup. He six barrels full of the best wine. You understand? So he he brought the wine to the party. But the thing is, he did not condone us getting drunk. Right. He did not condone us rising up early to go to the store to go get some uh some Mitchell Love Ultra. You understand? That's not who our Christ is. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Feet like unto fine brass with a B. What color is brass, sis? It's brass, it's bronze. Like bronze, brown, like a penny, right? Copper. Right? But how brown? You got beautiful brown skin, sis. Now watch this. How brown was our Christ skin? As if they burned in a furnace. Now if you put that t-shirt or put some white paper or some white rice in the furnace and it was burnt, what color is that, sis? Black. Black as the ground you standing on. You understand? So our, our Christ, our Savior, our Lord and Savior look just like you, sis. Black. Now, well, he got the woolly hair because he didn't straighten his. He didn't want his to lie down. Now, sis, I'm not saying, look, we know all of our people have to be corrected, have to be brought back to this. You understand? Because we've been uh, taught too long that this is the standard of beauty. Right. But it is not. Uh, what's that? Wisdom of Solomon 13.3. It's showing you the author of beauty. Who gave you the things that you have? Who gave you that skin? Who gave you those beautiful eyes? Who gave you that hair? Preach. You understand? Sis, we're going to show you. We're showing you that this is Christ. Okay? Watch this. So cause what we got to understand even further is that there is a value to our a self value that we gain by learning that our Lord and Savior look just like us. You see what I'm saying? For far too long, they said Christ looked like this. For far too long, they said God looked like this. For far too long, they said the angels and the prophets look just like this. Right. But these are the same people that shoot you down in the street. Amen. These are the same people that hunt your steps and make you go to jail when you, when you can't take care of your kids. Freedom. 
The same people Three. that come and arrest you when all you trying to do is make a little money. But guess what? The most I put them on top of us and put them over us because we make money in the evil way. Money and evil. You Three. see what I'm saying? Three. Three. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13 and verse 3. Uh -huh. With whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be gods, let them know how much better the Lord of them is. All right, so read that one more time. Watch this. With, the, with whose beauty? Whose beauty? That's the subject. Whose beauty? Read. If they being delighted, uh -huh. took them to be gods. Took them to be gods. To be what? Gods and princesses on earth. You understand? The standard of beauty is supposed to be you, sis, not the white man, not Three. the white woman that you Three. see on those uh those Three. shampoo commercials. That's not who, who you're supposed to be looking at to say, I want to make my hair like that. I want to make my skin like that. that is, they do the same thing to you, but you go and try to look like the oppressor. Read. Let them know. How much better the How Lord? How much what? Better. How much what? Better. No worse. Better. No less. Better. Three. The Lord of them is. The Lord is better because he designed you. He gave you the best hair on earth. He gave you the greatest skin on earth. He gave you the best cooking skills, the best jumping skills, the best dressing skills. Hey, don't you see the prophets up here looking fly? Because God was so much better to design us the best. Why? Read. For the first author of beauty. The who? The first author of beauty. So we go after the sixth, the seventh, the eighth author of beauty. The, that dumbed down author of beauty. Bring it that out. diluted author of beauty. What? When the author of beauty gave you the best skin. Read. Gave you the best hair. Read. Since that wool that's growing out your head is glorious. What? You understand? You have to understand where, where that came from. It didn't come from this white man that, that told you that you need to go and hate your sister. To go and talk about what she got on. But you need to build yourself up. Come to an understanding that Christ looked just like you. Right. That he gave you the understanding that you are the greatest on earth. But you left that understanding. We all left that understanding. That's why we were going to talk about the person that, that got something that we don't got. We're going to take it from him. Why is that? Because this man, we listen to him instead of the God that God gave us, his son. You understand? Read uh, Deuteronomy 76. Because there's a certain value that comes, I said that, there's a certain value that comes with this man right here. Since we all have had that, that, that sorrow on our minds, but the only thing that changed us that can change you is God's law. That's right. We understood the value that came with God's laws. And if you don't take that upon yourself, you're not going to come to that understanding. That's you're right. not going to value yourself even more. All right? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Watch it out. For thou art in holy people. Sis, sisters, little sister, y'all are the holy people that That's the Bible right. was talking yeah. about. Preach. But why don't we act like it? You understand? Because we left that understanding right there. That's right. We left that knowledge right there that said what? For thou art in holy people uh -huh. unto the Lord thy God. That you are supposed to be separate from those people that say that you look like dirt. That you are the lowest on earth. And to the point that what? We start to believe it. And the world, we're so powerful, right? That the world starts shaping itself after how we thought. That's right. So when we, you got a bunch of people that think that they the lowest on earth, guess what those bunch of people gonna do? They gonna live like the lowest on earth. Bring it out. They gonna actually be the lowest on earth because the earth itself is evolved around how we think. Right. Read. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Has what? Chosen thee. Did you choose those shoes this morning? Did you choose those, the, the, the apparel that you got on? You know what? Just like God Neither chose you, shoes. sis. Read. To be a special to people. To be what? A special people. So he didn't put you on just to say, oh, I got it on. Right. He put you on because you special. Amen. Because you're separate from everybody else. That's right. Read. Unto himself. Uh -huh. Above all people. No, no, no. You're reading into that. Tell sisters what it actually says. Read. Above 
all people. No, 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 no. I, I didn't hear above. Did y'all hear above? Did y'all hear above or below? Did y'all hear above. equal to? Above. Oh, a uh, what? Above all people uh. that are upon the face of the earth. So watch that Martin Luther King out your mind saying we want to be equal. Right. Even though we respect the brother for bring, trying to bring us out of this oppression, the Most High God said, what? You are above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Your pastor don't tell you that. Right. Your pastor don't tell you that you above all people, sis. Right. That the hair on your head is above all people's hair. That the, the, the skin you have is above all people. We used to scream black power while hair wrong was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how we're men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth